Hello! The FlipRun application is designed to manage the maintenance process of vehicles and trailers, as well as to control refueling and the validity of driver's documents. In this video, we will go through the basic steps to start using the app. FlipRun elements are connected to standard VLON elements. You can learn more about this from the article at the link in the description. In this video, we will set up the application for the fleet of a small company, Cargo Transportation. There are 10 vehicles and 5 trailers in the fleet, with 8 drivers working with them. Before our client's dispatcher start working with the application, the administrator or an authorized employee needs to activate the fleet in the Fleet Run app. The fleet is a kind of a container for the elements that are used in the application. So, in the admin interface, the activation tab displays a list of accounts for which you can activate the fleet using the tumbler on the right side of the screen. In our case, this is the cargo transportation account. On the Administration tab, we will activate access rights for dispatchers and add service objects – units, that is a vehicle, drivers and trailers. Before moving forward, let's pay attention to the two key elements of Fleet Run. We are talking about services and intervals. The essence of Fleet Run is to perform services that is works, for example, tire replacement, suspension repair, driver's license renewal, and so on. Therefore, Fleet Run allows you to take into account how many services are to be performed, what services were forgotten to complete on time, what services are in the process right now? What services have already been done and how much did it cost? What services were decided not to be performed at all? Many services are periodic and some are one-time. Intervals are used to control periodic ones. They can be perceived as templates according to which services will be automatically created later. According to this, a detailed car interior cleaning should be done once a year, this is the interval, and the certain car interior cleaning made in the fall of 2020 is a service. Understanding now the nuances, we can continue studying the interface. So, let's create an interval for gearbox oil changing. Select its type to set the frequency of these works, as well as at what time the service should be created. For example, oil changing should be carried out every 10,000 km and the service should be created 1,000 km before the due date. Also, oil changing must be performed at least once a year, and in this case, the service must be created 30 days before the deadline. Thus, the service in Fleet Run is not created immediately, but when the work period is coming and when it should already be taken into account. To simplify filling out the Line Items tab, you can pre-enter prices in the Line Items library. Thus, after pressing the Add button, in the name field in the drop-down list, it is enough to select the type of work or the name of the detail that has already been added into the system, and the price will be applied automatically. Do not forget to know the type, part or labor, as well as their quantity. You can also fill in this section manually. The total cost will be calculated automatically. In the Assigned Service Objects section, select those objects for which it is necessary to replace the oil. When creating an interval for each object, it is important to specify information about the previous performance of such work. To do this, hover over the Edit object, click on the pencil icon and fill in the fields. Save all the settings using the Create Interval button. 
At the moment when the time of work is coming, services will be automatically created based on the intervals. They can also be created manually. For example, form a service for windshield replacing. This is a one-time job, so there is no need to create an interval for it. At the top of the section, select this service as due to be performed and the planned date of its completion. You can also specify the time interval when the work should be done. Next, select the type of the service object, in our case it is a unit, that is a vehicle, and its name. If necessary, you can attach files, photos, or documents. Save the created service. The most important thing in the services is their status. Due is a service that should be performed soon. Overdue is a service that was forgotten to be done on time. In progress is a service that is being performed right now. Closed is a service that has already been completed. Rejected is the service that was decided not to be performed. On the Services tab, Due and Overdue services are displayed in the upcoming section. In Progress services are displayed in the In Progress section, while Closed and Rejected services are displayed in the Archive section. Almost all statuses are changed manually. The exceptions are the automatic creation of a service based on an interval with the Due status and changing the status to Overdue if it was not performed in time. Let's check the statuses of the available services. Tire fitting can be performed for another 6 days, nothing need to be done with this service yet. The Renault car has already arrived at the station, it has a weekly car wash and car interior cleaning, so let's change the status of this service to in progress. While checking the 045 trailer, it was decided that it was not necessary to do the painting yet, it can wait for the next time, so let's change the status to reject it. It turned out that the driver John can update his driver's license in another week, so let's set the date for 28th of February 2023. In addition to intervals and services, you can work with fuel fillings. When creating a fuel filling manually, specify fuel filling date, unit, fuel type. You can specify it manually or select it from the line item library if it was filled in in advance. Its cost per 1 liter and the volume. The total cost of fuel filling is calculated automatically. There are three ways to display data in the Fleet Run application – using the Dashboard tab, using Reports and using Notifications. The Dashboard tab allows you to quickly analyze the available information about the maintenance of the fleet. The Dashboard tab can be customized based on what information is important to you. For example, by adding the Services block, we will see the total number of services and the number of due, overdue and in-progress services. Notifications in the user interface can be found in a special block that appears when you click on the bell icon, which displays the number of unread notifications. Messages about changing service statuses are shown here. From the Notification tab, you can proceed to editing the service. On the Reports tab, you can quickly upload information about services of the fleet, unit, driver, and so on. Indicate the status of the services that you are interested in, for example, completed. Since only one fleet is active in our case, only the cargo transportation option is available in the element field. The report can be grouped by interval, by type, or by service object. To upload the information about closed and rejected services, you should select the time period. Besides, notifications and reports can be displayed outside the Fleet Run application interface. To do this, you need to open the Administrator interface through the Administration tab. Notification can be sent to mail, an external server, or Telegram Messenger. On the Notifications tab, fill in the fields – name, 
recipient address, depending on the selected delivery method, and the statuses of the services for which the notification should be sent. Let's set up a notification for units that have the tire feeding interval configured. Reports can be sent to email. To send an email report, we should create a template for it on the corresponding tab. Let's specify the name of the report, choose the entire fleet, specify the status of the service we want to know about, the element itself, in our case is the name of the fleet, and set up the grouping. Below is the date to start sending this report and the frequency of sending, one time in 7 days in our case. For services that are in the archive, you can specify the time interval to be displayed in the report. At the bottom of the page, enter the email address to which the report should be sent. Congratulations! Now you can get started with the Fleet Run application. Thank you for watching and good luck!